I get asked all the time about living in Conway, South Carolina, and I just sold a home out in Conway, so I figured it's a great time to not only show you that home, but also talk a little bit about the area and the price points. This way you know what to expect if you do decide to move to the area. One of the most attractive parts about homes in Conway is that they tend to be a little bit more affordable than homes in other parts of the Grand Strand. And that's only natural as you get a little bit further away from the coastline, home prices typically tend to go down. And I'm gonna go over that in a little bit more detail while we are walking through the home. I'm gonna compare some recent home sale prices from Conway versus other parts, other towns in the Grand Strand for similar homes around the same size. So definitely stick around for that part of the video. Now, one of the downsides to living in Conway is that there are some areas that are prone to some pretty extensive flooding. So you definitely have to be careful what areas you're looking at, especially as you start to get closer to some of the rivers that run through the town. Conway, South Carolina is located about 15 miles west of Myrtle Beach and much of the current day historic downtown was built in the early 1900s. Conway is an important part of the Grand Strand and it serves as the county seat of Horry County. The courthouse is located right in downtown Conway and it is also home to Coastal Carolina University. Conway does take up a pretty big area as you can see from the map that is currently on the screen. That red outline does represent Conway and downtown Conway is going to be about 20 to 30 minutes from Myrtle Beach depending on the traffic and the time of day that you're traveling. The closest areas of Conway are only going to be about 15 minutes to Myrtle Beach, about 20 to 25 minutes to the beach and the airport. The farthest areas of Conway can be upwards of 45 minutes to an hour from the beach, again depending on traffic and the time of day that you are traveling. Parts of Conway are definitely a lot more rural than you're going to find a little bit closer to the beach, but other parts are definitely a lot more developed. And Conway as a whole is becoming more developed as time goes on, as developers are running out of space to build homes closer to the beach, they're moving a little bit more inland. If you wanna learn more about Conway and some of the awesome things to do there, go ahead and click the first link down in the description. That page has some great info about the area and it also includes all of the homes that are currently for sale in Conway. And while you're down there below the video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button if you're enjoying this one. It helps me out a ton and I definitely appreciate it. All right, let's go ahead and check out this home in Conway. And the first thing that I wanna know about the homes in this neighborhood is that they do have side load garages on the outside of the house which means the lots are nice and wide to accommodate for the driveway going up the outside of the house, which gives you a good amount of distance between you and your neighbors on either side. Now this lot here is by no means massive. It is 0.23 acres, so just under a quarter of an acre. And what that means is the lot is going to be a little bit more shallow. And you'll see that when we get towards the end of the tour here and we check out the backyard. It's a nice wide backyard, but the neighbor directly behind this house is a little bit closer than it typically would be for a similar size lot that is a little bit more narrow. Let me know down in the comments below if you had to pick a lot that was about the same size, would you prefer a wider lot or would you prefer one that is a little bit more narrow with your neighbors closer on the sides of you, but you get to have a deeper backyard? I'm always curious to hear people's preferences. Now this home here is a three bedroom, two bathroom home sitting at 1,460 square feet. The asking price was $295,000 and my clients ended up getting it for $290,000. This home is located on the southern end of Conway off of 701. It's about 35 to 45 minutes from the beach. It's about five to 10 minutes from the center of Conway and it is about 45 minutes to the Myrtle Beach Airport. And as always, I want to mention taxes quickly. Taxes on a home like this are gonna cost you about $2,000 for the entire year, give or take a couple hundred dollars. Now, I do wanna review over the great value you can get by purchasing a home in Conway. This home closed in May, so I ran a search for three bedroom, two bathroom homes between 1,400 and 1,500 square feet that also closed in May. 
Conway had 25 home sales ranging from $237,000 up to $315,000 with an average price of $270,000. I ran the same search for Merle's Inlet, Carolina Forest, and Surfside. Those three towns combined only had nine home sales with the average for Merle's Inlet being $330,000, the average for Carolina Forest being $306,000, and in Surfside, the average was $321,000. The lowest sales price in those three towns was $295,000, $25,000 more than the average in Conway, So hopefully this highlights to you the great value that you can get by purchasing a home in Conway. And again, there's a lot more opportunity. There was 25 sales in Conway versus only nine sales in three other towns combined. And that right there is gonna wrap it up for this home tour in Conway. Okay, I do want to mention, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you probably recognize this video or maybe even this video here, and you're probably thinking to yourself, those are homes that were not only bigger, they were closer to the beach, and they were newer, and they sold for around the same price as this home in Conway. And that is definitely true, but I do want to remind you that both of those homes did sell over a year ago before we saw the huge increase in prices that we saw over the last year one of the biggest increases in home values that we ever saw in a one year period. All the data that we just reviewed over while we were walking through the home are for homes that all sold within the same month this year. So if this video got you thinking a little bit more about the potential of living in Conway, then I wanna leave you with this. Right before I started filming this video, I Googled why should I live in Conway? And this is the first thing that popped up. If you're into history, laid back lifestyle and small town vibes, then living in Conway is a good option for you. And again, if you wanna learn more about Conway, if you wanna see the homes for sale in Conway, go ahead and click the first link down in the description. I will also have a link down there where you can contact me. Feel free to do that. If you're new here, my name is Nick Pelosi and I'm a real estate agent here in the Myrtle Beach area with Remax Southern Shores. And this channel is dedicated to helping you relocate to the area talk about things to do here. I give tips and advice about the area. And of course, I talk about the real estate. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. This way you don't miss any of my future videos. And speaking of videos, I have tons of great content that I've already posted on this channel. I recommend starting with this one right here. I wanna thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.